But let me put to you, Dean, then one of the criticisms of your campaign, the Yes campaign, that has come from the No campaign, and it relates to this, your first official ad. Let's have a look. Australia's constitution is 122 years old and still doesn't recognise Indigenous Australians. We've been here for 65,000 years. This year, Australians have a chance to fix that with a referendum to give Indigenous Australians a real say in their future. Fair enough. I'll second that. Well, there you go, Dean. The criticism from the No campaign is that you don't mention the words the voice and they're suggesting you're trying to sort of skate that one through. What's your response to, to that critique? Well, firstly, thanks for playing the ad, Chris. Uh, another bump uh, <laughs> to get the information out there. It's much appreciated. I know that's not the intention. I'll, I'll answer the question. Um, look, uh, recognition is obviously a big part of this uh, equation too. And we've been very keen to make sure that uh, Australians understand that that is going to be part of of what they'll be voting on come referendum time, recognising Indigenous peoples in the Constitution. The ad does say, um, you know, Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people having a say in our future. And if you actually play the ad to the very end, uh, there's a hashtag in there that does say voice. Um, but it's actually it's actually a really important point. Um, this is the difference between the conversation that's been having in the Canberra bubble and, and that on the ground. When you actually get out there in the communities like I have over the last, you know, six years or so, um, when you actually talk to people and they say, well, well, this is about giving Indigenous people a say in their future. This is about giving Indigenous people a say over their own affairs. They go, well, that makes sense. And that feels like something I can get behind. So part of what we're also trying to do is make sure that we're having the conversation at the community level in a way that really cuts through all the noise um, and helps people get their head around this in a very simple way. So um, we think the ad is, 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 is about really pitching it to that community uh, level, individuals across the country that we really want to engage in this now that the uh, the politicians and the legal experts have had their say. Yeah, look, we're almost out of time, but just very quickly, uh, your native state of uh, Queensland, uh, the, the treaty process there, there's going to be all sorts of but claims for mining rights and money and all the rest of it. This is going to happen whether there's a voice or not, but you can already see the opponents trying to use this sort of stuff to condemn the voice. How, how are you going to do that? There's all sorts of Indigenous issues and people are trying to use them to attack the voice. What's your strategy to, to clarify the difference? Well, it's going to become very, very clear, Chris, in the very near future that the nation is going to a historic vote in about six months' time. Um, of course, there are a number of other agendas that will continue to be uh, prosecuted um, as they have been and as they will following the referendum. But as we move closer to the referendum, it will become clear that this is the single biggest issue facing the country in October. It's the biggest opportunity we have to get real recognition and real practical change on the ground for Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander peoples. Um, it, it, it will take over and, and it'll be very, very clear that that's the, uh, the question facing all Australians and that's something that we're really excited to be part of. Thanks for joining us, Dean. I appreciate it. We're right out of time there. Dean Parkin, who heads up the Yes campaign for the Indigenous Voice.